pulling as, as two hands as hard as you can. Okay. Two hands close together. You recording it? Okay. Oh, yep. Right there. Okay. Now, what is that? Two and a quarter. And that is two and a quarter right there. So, two and a quarter minus three quarters what? Two and a quarter minus three quarters? So one and a half. Right there. One and a half. Now you said... Oh, right there, one and a half. You said minus what? Three quarter. Okay, what's the three quarters for? For the... To relax the stretch so that if you're so tight this way, you don't have no movement this way when you try and stretch end to end. So if you back off three quarters of an inch from the maximum you can stretch the cloth, to give you your working strength, when you stop at that uh, inch and a half stretch now, you'll pick it up when you stretch end to end. Okay, so so I was able to pull two, two and a quarter inches. Two and a quarter inches, but we're going to give back three what? Three quarters of an inch. Three off quarters, of that. so that way it get it gets a stretch this way. Yes. Okay. So we'll the, make up for that when we do end to end. So the stretch index would be. One and a half. One and a half. One and a half inch. Yes, for eight foot. For eight foot, okay. Now, for striking. Striking super weave green. Now, what you got to do, if you take, see the width of this slate is 47 and a half inches. Okay. Take 47 and a half divided by one and a half inch stretch. By one and a half inch stretch. Yeah, that's your stretch index. One half. So you take, because you need to know how many, how much of an inch you're stretching, okay? So you take 1.56 divided by 47 and a half, 7.5 equals 0 0.03157. Now, a seven foot diamond is 47 inches wide. So it's basically the same stretch. But a nine foot, let's say, what is the stretch for a nine foot, okay? A nine foot is 57 inches wide. So take this number times 57, 1.80. So if you take this number yes. that you got from taking the, this is the- The, the known stretch. Okay. This is the known stretch. One and a half inches stretch index divided by 47 and a half gives you the, the uh, this number right here. 47 and a half is what? The width of the, the slate. The width of the slate. Yeah. The width of the slate divided by your stretch index gives you this. So then if you take this number and then you take the playing field width of a nine foot. 1.80. Divided by this, which no, is what you No, times this. Oh, times that? Yeah. You get this number by taking your stretch of one and a half inches divided by 47 and a half wide. That gives you this fraction of an inch per inch of stretch. So then the, the nine foot width is 57 inches times this yes. number would get you? 1.80 inches. Right here? Yeah, for a nine foot. Right, do, do the uh, equals 1.8. One point, Cause it looks like you're seeing billiards is right here. 1.80 stretch. So, so we're at 1.5 for seven foot and eight foot. Yes. But a 1.8 inches. Yes. For a nine and foot. And 1.750 is one and three quarter inch. Yeah. So if you went one and 
uh, 13 sixteenths. That would be uh, uh, 13 sixteenths is 13 divided by 16 equals 0 0.81. So that's basically, that's, that's one and 13 16 stretch. So now for a nine foot, because see a nine foot, this is 57, this is 47. That's only 10 inches wider a cloth. But in that 10 inches, you're going from one and a half to one and 13 sixteenths. You're only stretching it five sixteenths more. Okay. That's good. Because you only got 10 inches of cloth. Yeah. So now for a nine foot, one 13 sixteenths stretch. Side to side. That's your working strength. And that's for green. That's Blue for will stretch green. more. Okay. Stracken, that's for Stracken. Simonis is different. Yeah. Championship is different. They all are different. You have to determine the stretch index. All you need is one size table. And that will tell you what it is for all the rest of the other size tables with the same cloth. Now, I left that extra rail cloth on so you had room to grab it with your hands. Yeah. yeah. But now I can take it off. You can't use mechanical devices to determine stretch index because that's giving you something to hold on to that is not your hand strength. So that gives you a false stretch. Now there's people out here talking about, oh, I'll stretch that strike and cloth four inches side to side. Oh, really? Hmm. Show me. Well, I'll spray it with water first. Well, really? Try it dry. Because you can't overstretch pulling it because... Why? Because then when you try to pull it lengthwise... When you spray, when you get it wet, it loses its memory. It don't stretch back. Yeah, but what about people who are overstretching it? They're not using water. They're just pulling this way. Then you get the stretch shadows. Because they expect to pull it this way as hard as they can, and then they expect to pull it lengthways. Yes. And, that gives and that's when you get all the stretch shadows. Stretch shadows? Yeah. Oh, you'll see stretch shadows. It looks like a zebra right down one side of the table. That affects the way the ball rolls? Yeah, it does. Yeah.